What's up, family? How's everybody doing? AB was away for a couple of days because AB was trying to cope with the idea that the, the, the shorts and the hedge funds finally got the break that they needed. And I needed to be away for a little bit. And I would have been, I, I wanted to be away for a little longer too. But in this video, it's important. I see a lot of confusion. I see a lot of misinformation and FUD going around. And um, this is gonna be the only video that will explain to you exactly what is happening today. And also what could be the, the for, in the foreseeable future at least, just for this foreseeable future, what could be the case. Because in this video, you're gonna understand exactly how they're doing it. Now, I know one thing we're all united upon, which is market manipulation, market manipulation. While it is market manipulation, but to sum it up even better, it's more like insider trading. And here's how that is. First, let me give you this cool stat that you're not gonna find on Twitter or anywhere else on YouTube. What if I AB told you that more than $23 million worth of bought, bought puts since the beginning of August were bought on the AMC's obviously stock. Uh, and here's the kicker, zero amounts of calls. All the calls and all the uh, floor puts that they have purchased that I was alluding to, alluding to about September 15th, most of those was already sold and on the previous slight small little run up because they were all deep in the money. However, how are they bringing this stock right now down? You know, mind the cicadas in the background. I don't know, it's not even their season, but, or their year, but there's always a late one, you know, a late boomer. Anyways, I was really contemplating on making this video because I know that it will leave some of you very, very disgusted and feeling like you want to vomit. However, it's important that you do know exactly how they're doing it so that you're not falling for whatever Twitter hype, Twitter BS, Twitter bullshit, all that stuff. Uh, misinformation out there. Uh, again, it's in those moments that you don't understand what's happening that you could most likely be vulnerable to making a really bad decision. As always, there's always light at the end of the tunnel. So what are they doing? It's a combination of two things, family. And both of those things require what? Insider trading. What do I mean by that? All these whales slash even big institutions slash shorts are actually cut, like playing at the same page. They're all talking to each other. They're all doing it. How do I know that they're talking to each other? Because their transactions speak for itself. We all knew that that's something that even the so-called DOJ proved a, few, a couple years ago that short sellers were, uh, you know, talking to each other with codes and numbers and all that stuff. But no, this solidifies exactly what I'm talking about here. What they're doing is a combination of two things. One, leading up to this, as, as we speak today, there's no access to option trading, not for institutions, not for short sellers and not for us. Okay. So anybody out there that's going to tell you that, oh, the shorts and the institutions have access to options, but we don't. Uh, just know that they're trying to emotionally rally you up because they themselves don't understand what's happening. Truth of the matter is, just no one has access to opening new option positions today as we speak, as that is being constructed. But that's not where the kicker is. and That's not where the problem lies. The problem lies as in, in this whole month, they've been buying so many puts so far deep into the money and what is that called a protective put strategy what does that give them why is that bringing down the price you're asking that like ab well this is the reason why i'm making this video is two ways that they're bringing this price down combination of two different people shorts whales and institutions all together combining their two different strategies one protective puts act as the individuals or the institutions that do own AMC stock, they went and bought deep in the money puts so that when the price drops, they can protect themselves and they will have the right to sell their stocks at the put strike price. So for example, if they bought a $10 strike put on AMC, 
um, as 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 AMC dropped been for this whole past week. In fact, uh, it's been dropping like crazy. Man, that UPS driver is really in the hurry to deliver. They must really like their new pay package, <laughs> their raise. Um, so as they try to, uh, as as for this past week, the price has been dropping. They have the right to sell the stock that they already own at the strike price of that put because it's called the protective put strategy. That's again, that only applies for the for those individuals or those institutions or those shorts that have stock in their possession. Now that's the first way. What is the second way, AB? Shorts, opening up short positions. How are they doing it? Without actually opening up a short position. They all bought uh, so deep in the money puts and what they're doing instead of uh, obviously selling because they don't have the stock. Here's the shorting part. When they don't have the stock in their position, they opened deep in the money positions in puts and what they're doing is that they're exercising them and at that point, when you exercise a deep in the money put, you're actually going short. That position becomes a short, a long short position at that point with the intent that you will return these shares or buy them back at a lower price to return them to the lending uh, broker or the, whichever broker that they initiated the, the position with. So, for example, another example, if they were uh, if they bought ten dollar put strikes on AMC and they did not have any AMC shares. When the AMC is, let's say at $4, what they do if they exercise at that point, they will actually have 100 short shares on AMC. They're selling, they're basically selling shares, dumping them into the market, not at four, but at $10. That's where it will start counting from the $10 because they got the strike price of 10. And since it went into the money, it's so far deep into the money, what they can do is when they exercise at whatever point they exercise, they will have, uh, they, they will basically transfer from to a regular put to a short because they don't own the stock. That's what, the, that what exercising uh, put that's deep in the money mean. Now, what do they have to have to in order for them to get that accomplished? They have to have at least most brokers normally need 40, 50, 60 percent. Most need at least 50 percent uh, of the cash equivalence of that position to be in the margin account. Remember, to short, you have to be on margin. So they have that money. And if they even don't. The, at the moment of exercising, if they don't have that cash equivalence, what the bro most brokers would do is they would close that position for that player, or that short, and they will give them back the difference, which is basically closing that position. They don't have 50 or plus more uh, of, of the equivalence of that short uh, position or in cash on hand on reserves. So therefore, they will automatically close that for them. Most brokers will do that, not all, but most will do that and they will return the difference to the player and basically they will profit the difference between wherever they exercise and how far it dropped down. So you're telling me now, basically you're asking yourself a question. First, I hope you answered the question of how they're doing it. Now the final conclusion, guys, they cannot, they would have not been able to do all of this without ahead of time knowing exactly step by step what exactly was going to happen this further goes to show each single person that actually voted yes for this proposition this mad proposition that we went through with the reverse split and conversion that you were exactly working right into their uh in their spider net all those all those all those positions that they had open Given that somehow, some way, somehow that that was not approved, the reverse split and a conversion, they would have had to endure or go through one of the worst, if not the biggest margin call in, in stock market history because all their chips were lined up for this. Now they're making a lot of money, I'll tell you that. But here's where the light at the end of the tunnel comes in. You're telling me, AB, where's the light, right? You tell me there's always a light at the end of the tunnel. Well, one, besides the fact that you have less shares than what you had 
Uh, of course, they're bringing down the price value you see in it. Uh, and I don't even need to go to how they're doing it to ape. Ape is simple. I've always told everybody that institutions own so much ape. In fact, I believe that, in my humble opinion, <laughs> that ape is majority owned by institutions. So therefore, they could easily sell ape at any given time, pumping it and dumping it at, at, at will. Um, so that's how they're doing that over there. They're having fun with that. But as far as with AMC, where does the light at the end of the tunnel goes? Well, all this has to eventually come to an end as far as when they have to return those shares, especially these shorts that were created today or in these past few days, because it wasn't just starting today. Today was the commencing of the reverse split. It was just happening before, putting it at a weaker point, selling some... The, 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 the snowball effect started happening, or the catalytic effect started happening a few days ago when they started truthfully after that announcement of the reverse split of being approved uh, from Judge Zern that they started actually hammering at the stock by selling stocks that they already have. And by starting that downfall, first they checked the first of the two things, which is the institutes or the whales that had a lot of puts protective puts because they own shares of AMC that they had so deep in the money puts like at $10 and I seen those with my own very own two eyes um, when the price was dropping out of the, the, the sky obviously started a catalytic effect because all these institutes and shorts majority of them of course and they're all coming in in hand it's like a domino effect they're coming in at the perfect time what they're doing is uh, they're all as soon as the price started dropping with just a, a beginning the beginning of a, uh, a selling pressure those puts were being exercised so those players those institutes and those whales were actually selling their stock the ones that own the stock remember on the protective put strategy they were selling those stocks and selling them for the strike price that they had it at even if the price was at two dollars or 130 at today late, the latest like yeah, we are at 13, 14, but that's the equivalence before the reverse split to a dollar 30 or a dollar 40 cent or a dollar 50 cent at uh, $15. So, therefore, what these guys were doing is they were exercising, selling, creating more selling pressure when they're exercising these puts by selling their original whatever shares they own at the strike price that they had uh, intended for to protect their assets and. In the same time to go ahead and create more downfall selling pressure most likely those same players are also most likely the same shorts that are exercising uh, and bought a lot of uh, deep in the money puts that did not they did not personally own shares to so therefore now it goes to player number two which is our game plan number two which is exercise those puts so far down here, first they effectively started the selling pressure. Then institutes and whales play their role, exercise and sell the shares that you do own already at the strike price. Then the third and final nail in the coffin, which is uh, here comes the third player, which is selling, uh, or, sorry, exercising the puts that they have bought so far when they're already sure now that those puts are so deep in the money now they exercise them but they never owned those shares so therefore they're actually creating new short positions and the light at the end of the tunnel will be <sighs> i hope you haven't vomited already but at the the light at the end of the tunnel is when this catalytic effect ends basically when they stop exercising more of these or when they have to go back and buy these to return them because they have to return those uh, eventually that's when you will start seeing a rise to the upside how do you know when that's getting close you look at the basically this is where we lead up to the technicals on the charts and we see that when the stock is oversold or overbought amc right now technically is oversold but since we still have tomorrow and monday uh, positions to happen like we have tomorrow the commencing of what happens with ape and then monday the issuance or perhaps tuesday the issuance of the the some of the shares that are you know for the amc 7.5 shares you get one once all of this stuff are finished that's when i will take another major look at 
the stock and see exactly if we're still in a downward selling pressure or oversold pressure and that will be what i told you guys before this whole thing happened wait after the reverse stock split and one of the options remember the three options that we made in that last video when the stock gets done with all these corporate actions and if it doesn't moas as as as, as intended by the yesers uh instantly then you will see a downward crazy event and when it bottoms out that's when it's a healthy position to open a new position and i'm not talking about the old ones the old ones hey if you're still in you're still holding then guess what you this is going to happen to you regardless in my humble opinion i'm not a financial advisor so you will see time will tell but as far as people are opening new positions the best time will be when this thing bottoms out and it will be very soon it's not going to take too long uh, that doesn't mean it will be probably perhaps moas time but it will be an ex exactly perfect moment to jump in for a run-up remember the run-ups that i was talking about in that last video sorry that it was a long video but you needed to understand exactly what was happening and how they're exactly doing it by communicating with each other and uh and and obviously insider trading in my humble opinion uh, so is it market manipulation absolutely uh, is it illegal apparently not the, rule, the laws doesn't say that so please family do not fall for any misinformation out there that will emotionally try to rally you up to whatever the case may be um, big things coming i'll probably make another video talking about the market and some other plays or i'll put them in the community tab amd has a crazy setup spy has a crazy setup the uh the spies uh resistance to, for today was about 441 and about 78 cents so if it breaks 440 and 70 cents actually then you will see that heading over there the reason why is because the 50-day moving average is around that 441 and 70 something cents so we'll see if it hits that and goes there and eventually goes by if it doesn't uh you need to look for 438 and 68 cents on the downside if it breaks below that then you would see that from this week or for tomorrow or friday heading into next week it will be uh more down cycles on this buy um which will happen well i'm not a financial advisor again i'm just giving out my opinion you will see with those two things that i told you no one has a crystal ball i just gave you two situations that could happen with this buy whichever one happens first then you would exactly go with that uh, position we need to see check marks or break through either this level to the upside that i just mentioned or the other level on the downside for the other situation to happen much love ab investments if you have any questions or comments please put them in the comments section please like the video get it out to more and more and more family members so we can take out most of this misinfo that is being floating around especially on twitter and some places on youtube um, and share it with your loved ones.